Hi friends, welcome to our morning. We are kind of dragging today, it's actually 12.30. I'm eating for the first time. I'm having, I'm making my own little mini cottage cheese jello. I don't wanna use all of it, hang on. But I realized I have open jello packets for all our like, creamies that we make. And I have some strawberry jello. So I'm gonna make my own little mixture of jello for breakfast slash lunch slash whatever you wanna call this. So, as I mentioned yesterday, we had a very rough night. We went to bed. I fell asleep, Jace. Jason's right over here. I fell asleep very fast. In fact, I didn't intend to fall asleep. I still had my headphones in my hand. I didn't even put them down. I was even gonna unplug my phone after I did an update on my phone. And we were awoken at two in the morning. Is that when the first one happened? I don't even know. I think it was two in the morning. So I think I fell asleep at 11. The snore woke me up at one point. I realized you were asleep, so. <laughs> so bad. I probably was not snoring. You were, because I remember thinking, okay, she's maybe it's asleep. Maybe it's your snoring that wakes you up. No. I think it's your own snoring that wakes you up. No. Regardless. Abby came in crying. She's not gonna want me to talk about this, but she came in crying, sick to her stomach. Um, she also had like, all of a sudden got like a really bad runny nose yesterday. So she was taking like cold meds all day. And then she ended up with a headache, left kind of the dinner, went and lay down in bed. Anyways, two in the morning, she came in just like, ah, oh, my stomach just, um, and we're all kind of nervous about get, her getting sick because the surgery is coming up and we can't have her getting sick. And so then she did get sick. And so then she laid on her bed for a while because she just was really not, she was so weak. I don't think the cold and the running nose made her not eat very much for like Thanksgiving dinner. And um, so then she just felt really weak. So she laid in her bed for a little while, which is kind of fun to have a 16 year old lay in your bed. I'm not lying. Um, and then we got her back in bed. And then an hour later, happened again. She was in her bathroom that time. Helped her in her bathroom, got her back in bed a half hour later or so. And then um, I like, I'm like, okay, it's almost four in the morning. We can do this. We can sleep in. We don't have anything to do all morning long. What time did the other alarm go off? Uh, On your eight. car. Not eight. It was like seven. No. It was like eight something. It felt like it was like five in the morning. His car alarm goes off. And you just like get disoriented from like hearing someone's car alarm. And then you realize your phone's. Like our, both of our phones are flashing because it alerts you when your alarm goes off. So then I'm trying to like look and see if it was my car, even though my car is in the garage and he's looking at his phone. He's trying to figure out what's going on, trying to look at the footage as he's dashing out to the car in his underwear <laughs> in the freezing cold. And I, my, I, my update Gosh. had gone on my phone when I fell asleep. And so I can't get my phone turned on I accidentally set a passcode. I didn't want to, anyway. And there was nothing. He's looked at the footage and there's nothing. There's nothing there, right, Jace? We'll show it, because there's, oh, Ashley, we've did, done your dishes and I need you to just hand wash three pans, okay? He, he didn't stay up, but I think he didn't stay in bed for very long either because I woke up at 10. I was like, oh, 
Maybe I should get up. <laughs> and I came downstairs. Um, and we've just been doing chores and working on the computer, paying credit card bills. It's been really fun. This one. Yep. Should we tell them about what you get to do tonight? Finally got all the information I needed. And you're don't. still not in the reminders group. Yeah, and I don't know how to get my stuff in there. I talked anyway, to them. I talked to them. We'll worry about that later, Ash. But do you want to maybe tell them what you're doing tonight? I'm going to a silver tips uh, game. Game. I don't know. That is a hockey team here in Washington. It's hockey. Is not the Kraken. That would be really cool if we got to go to a Kraken game. I think we. But we have to go up to Everett. And then up north. It's a 50 50 raffle And so we get to go and sell 50 50 raffle tickets. Um, and it doesn't matter how many we sell, we get a, a set dollar amount, which is why this one is so um, good to go to because it's just a good two hour fundraiser. And we go and they're going to wear their uniform. And three. Yeah, it is. We have to go early and we have to do a little, like, a, I don't even know, orientation type thing. Anyway, it'll be a fun. Just the three of us are gonna go. Chelsea will be here. Abby is, um, I thought she was gonna stay home. But as, as bad as she felt all night long, she slept in and woke up and she was like, my stomach doesn't hurt. I don't have a cold anymore. And all I wanna do is eat. And so she just very slowly ate this morning and she's had more to eat, This, you know, like around noon here. And then we're all like, I guess you're not sick. And then his dad called. That was another one that woke us up. Because his dad called around nine. It's probably what got him out of bed. And he's like, hey, can I come over and get all the folding chairs from you? And also, I was sick all night. And we're like, what did Abby and Grandpa eat that none of the rest of us ate? Because now we're thinking it was some kind of poison, poison. food poisoning. So I have no idea. So she's feeling fantastic now. So she's gonna go to work. And I told her, I'm like, any symptoms at all, you need to just tell them you gotta go home. Um, so it's been, it was just a very hard, weird night, literally overnight. <laughs> so we're, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And oh, I don't want it. I don't want those. Here's Abby's little They're already gone. Oreo balls. You need to make sure you save some from her for her. Can you go ahead and put some in a baggie yeah. for her? Oh, let me show you something else that Kaylee did. So Kaylee got this puzzle from Jacob's mom and they put it together and then they like glued it all together. And that's so that takes pretty. Patience. It does. And then they put it in a frame for her yesterday or she did, I don't know. But she brought this home last night. She loves the movie Tangled. Like she was more than Mama Mia. Way more. So this is gonna look pretty. I don't know where we should put it in her She's, room or she wants to put it in the playroom, maybe. Playroom, like so. Or, I don't do you want to go put it in her room for her? Thank you. All right. So our neighbor and friend was selling this little craft cart on uh, buy hard. nothing so um, last night, and I was like, oh. I thought buy nothing was you buy nothing like like. Perfect. No, not not buy nothing. It was on the buy, sell, trade marketplace oh. thing, for Facebook marketplace. Well, she was selling it for 50, and then I was like, oh, I just need to know how tall it is and how wide it is. You wanna take it up? Can you carry it up there? It. No. <laughs> She's got it. Anyway, so I was like, I just need to know the height and width and stuff. She gave me that information, and she's like, I'll give it to you for 35 if you'll just come and get it tomorrow. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, because literally just the other day, Chelsea asked for something to go underneath her desk, and now we have something for you. I don't know why. And I only had to spend $35 on it. It's Pottery Barn. So, now you have something to do. <laughs> tired? She's always tired. Um, but Ashley, will you go get one of your little white, um, I, oh, not that one. The new ones with the white lids those buckets what? for your beads for all your craft stuff little white tupperware buckets I, use all of them. Um, I know i want to see if it fits here so i can go get her some more at target chelsea just has too many craft supplies art supplies <laughs> that she uses on a regular basis she even has this whole thing right here Let's see if i can get it to show in the light here 
this one is really organized, but then she has just paints and acrylics and watercolors and colored pencils. You do in here? Okay. All right, well, we can get one of that size, and then maybe I get like a shoebox size, but that at least fit, like you could do a whole one like that, Chelsea, with paint in it. And then another one like with the acrylic paints and the... I'm gonna need like two buckets for us. Right, cause she has this one here, but it's, it's kind of seen its day. Um, and then she has watercolors as well. Okay, we braved Target. Not as busy as I it thought it would be. It's like a Saturday. The Christmas section was busy, That's but we it. got um, these storage bins as a Christmas present. Um, and these ones for Chelsea's little desk organization. I got myself a little treat and we got lights for my tree out back. I'll show you. You almost dropped candy canes. That's worse than glass. Don't wanna break the candy canes. This one is for hot cocoa bar and this one is for her friend gifts to give them in their little gift bags. But yeah, I was expecting Target to be a little bit busier but we came in with the intention of just going to the Tupperware aisle, which I knew wouldn't be busy. But the Christmas section wasn't as any busier than any other day. Except for like, I got cheesy Christmas. Oh, you did. It says, you're a mean one. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Mr. Grinch. And I didn't want to be a Grinch and say no. So I went ahead well, and- you were on a call, so you- I know, I was on a call. Cause my friend finished making all of my little Christmas decorations, the utensil holders for our Christmas party. And she dropped them off to my house. She did 200 of them, 200 and- In like a month? No, she's only been working on it for like two weeks. She's been, like she did amazing. I thought it would at least take like- I know. Right before it. I know. I she did it, so we'll, we'll see it when we get home. I will show you the tree. I don't know if we're gonna have time to decorate the rest of it. No, we have like I think I've done it in the past, but I didn't have enough lights. Um, I may do, take, but- We gotta take it down. Um, I have a little tree in the backyard, in the back by our, our garage, that looks like a palm tree. So, I mean, and even my neighbor, she's like, are you doing the palm tree again? I'm like, yep. she's like, why wouldn't Dana do a palm tree <laughs> as a Christmas tree? Um, so I got more lights and, but I don't think we have time to set that up today. We have an hour and a half until we have to go. Focus, focus before she walks away. What? Oh, focus, 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 focus. Oh, dang it. Couldn't get my camera to focus before she left. All right, back at home, check these out. They turned out so good. So she's left them all flat, which is actually very smart. This is just the way they're cut and then she folded them and glued them together. And then this is what they will look like once we get them to the church. And then you just have to fold and pop that bottom. It doesn't even need to be taped or anything. This just folds up and pops into place. And then we'll put the utensils on it and put it onto the plate. And I, they're just so cute. She did an excellent job. Look at all the little palm trees that she had to like weed out. She did amazing. I mean, look how many there are in here, you guys. I think she did 225. Uh, 200 look at that. 296. 296? That's insane. She wrote on the box or something? I think. She went above and beyond. And to get this done early, so I don't have to stress about it. I'm gonna put them in, I have a whole pile of all the Christmas stuff. Can you grab that shirt here, Ashley? Ashley, I don't know why there's a shirt sitting there on the, can you pull that down? What? Can you move that shirt, please? Thank you. I don't know why that shirt is sitting here. Um, sweater but I don't know why it's just not hung up anyway I have a whole um, stash of the Christmas stuff this is also decor that I took off the shelves and I just I don't really feel like putting it anywhere because <laughs> I'm just gonna put it, pull it back out Ashley are you gonna get yourself ready I do my hair. yeah do your hair no, I can do it. oh I can do it yeah get it wet she is going to quickly do a little um, cheer fundraiser video for you if I can get it edited up it'll go up same day as this video actually maybe I'll do it earlier so you can start getting money from it so if you would like to donate I will put my Venmo in the description of that 
fundraising video for her cheer. You can't really say the real. What? You can't say like the name of. Of what? The car wash. You can't say it. Well, and I don't have those passes yet. So we're really just fundraising for Me. actual money for her, for her Japan trip. Um, but, but I'm going to use this video um, if we end up getting car wash cards because we can't say the name of the car wash for whatever reason the car wash place said that they can't we can't use their name I don't know why you would anyway but she does need to earn money for that um, for her trip to Japan and so I'm just making her create a video um, asking for donations and to support her and um, she's getting her cheer outfit on because it's a good day to do so because she's got to wear it to the game tonight and um, so I just thought I was going to be able to like sit back and <laughs> reply to comments with you from to you guys because I just haven't had time to. Um, but now I have to make this video for her um, before we have to leave for the Silver Tips game. Which is why I don't have time to do the Christmas tree out back. I didn't even show that to you. You can't really tell with it being light outside. You can't even tell the light that I have put on the tree. So maybe I'll show you tonight when I come home. But... Um, I gotta go and work on that video for her. And then I think we'll be lined up to go to the game tonight. Okay, Ash, you ready? Yeah. I'm We're here at the rink. We've gone our... No, hang on one second. We're like, we're not over here. Yeah, we are. This section we're, yeah, we're in this section over here. And we sell tickets to all the people all the way up. Yeah. So Jason is wearing the little jersey to show that I we're official. Red. I thought it would be red and white, but no, they're green and white. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. That's why they wanted you. It's win catch tonight. Ask me now. Ask me how. Well, not now. So how do you sell it? No one's here yet. So let's practice. practice. How would you like to buy a fifty-fifty? Enthusiasm. <laughs> no. Fifty-fifty raffle. No. Nope. Yeah. You guys sell it, but you don't have to say like for, it's for anything. Like, this is just for like the silver tips. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Once you're doing, she's doing it. I've done. She's it fine. She's done it before. But she has the tickets. She's selling thirty at a time. I didn't really get what they meant. But you're selling three ticket bundles for ten dollars. So basically. Why it's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading in the Okay, we had we had a lot of fun. You had a great time. You're very tired. We're gonna go get nuggets. It's so hard. It was cute seeing you down on the field doing field rink. I'm um, doing the chuck a puck. Yeah. Right. And it didn't matter how many tickets we sold, how much we sold, because we just got a set six hundred dollar grant. No. No, no, that's no. That's totally how much they were. They raised. They were like what, twenty one hundred or so? Yeah, twenty one for the fifty fifty. But we get a set grant money from the silver tips. So 
Um, but one of the things I didn't really film is one of you, Nicole, the one who told us about the passports in the passport office. She lives up here. And so I had texted her and told her, we're coming up again and we're going to the Silver Tips game and her brother has season tickets. And so oh, she hurried and <laughs> hopped up and came down to the game. And we spent all night like going back and forth as we were selling tickets, um, chatting with her and her brother and her sister-in-law. And anyway, it was very fun. And uh, thank you, Nicole, for, it was just fun to like, like know someone that, I don't know, how to just. She's a fun person. Yeah, she was a fun person. I chat with her all the time. She comments. And uh, it was funny because her sister-in-law, I didn't know it was her sister-in-law, but her sister-in-law, when she first came in she was like to the arena, she had like car seat and baby and toddler and diaper bag and backpack and, and her husband and, and, she, and a drink. And she was like, I want to buy a ticket from you. And I can't, I, got, I don't have a hand to like get my money out, but I'll, I'll come right back. And then later on when we found Nicole sitting down in their seats, it was her sister-in-law. <laughs> And I didn't know that and so it was fun to like because we had found her later on and she bought tickets from us and anyway just thank you for the fun camaraderie of friendship that you guys showed to us tonight it was really fun but we're gonna get her some nuggets it is like 30 degrees out here I know we should have um, and we're gonna end it right here we don't need to follow us to Wendy's <laughs> thank you for joining us that's I'm quite 40 a 40 chicken nuggets <laughs> you're not getting 40 chicken nuggets although no. your your sisters would probably eat the leftovers yeah. but thank you guys and we will see you next time